Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. It is another episode here on Kingstonian Diaries. It's the adventures of my little side that's gotten itself promoted into League 2. We finally seem to show some positive cash balances, uh, but I don't know how long that is going to last because overall balance is only at 28,000. So I'm expecting us to fall into the red because it's, it follows a similar pattern. We start off in the red, in the blue, and then after we hit the red. And that, I mean, nobody wants to buy my players. Let's just put it this way. If any, if any club does decide to buy my players, they deserve to be relegated four times over. Now, we don't have a very good side. And we started the season off very, pretty, very, very rocky. And so what we did was we went out and we strengthened the squad. Now, I used the word strengthen loosely here because this, this isn't strengthening. Michael Cox... If, okay, this is it. okay. We added all these players, but the best way to tell is to come to squad depth, right? Let's see if anybody is better than what we have. I mean, based on the game's um, calculations, right? I mean, the, the way the game stacks. I mean, roughly. I mean, it's a level playing field anyway. So, uh, so all the attributes should be important. But here, Gogona uh, for that role. Uh, Gogona, Scott Wani. We brought in two players who are not better than the one I have. Center backs, yes, we managed to get one Joe Coveney, who's pretty good, and he's better than um, better than uh, O'Neill, O'Dofin, and Edison. So we added one striker. That's good. Oh, sorry, defender. We are thinking of adding another goalkeeper to the list. Uh, we've got Dan Farrell, whose aerial reach um, is pretty good. His handling is a bit sad, seven, and his one on ones and reflexes are eleven and ten. And then we've got uh, Sam Besson, son of Dave Besson. And I'm using him instead because uh, he looks a bit more balanced. Aerial reach is about the same, I mean. But his handling is better. His one-on-ones is 10. His reflexes are 10. Now, he's also getting on in age. So, whereas Dan, Dan Farrell, 23 years old, I might want to give him a few matches. But we've got to... So, looking at him, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure... We do focus training on him handling. So this is something that's very important. So small little things, small little improvements here and there. As you can see, central defenders, we are rich. We are rich with central defenders. Got so many. I mean, some of them I'm going to retrain them to be DMs. Or in another case, fullbacks even, because we've got no fullbacks. So from this list, I go like, uh, well, I'm looking at who can play fullbacks. But as you can see, none of them can even cross the ball. Uh, I haven't been able to find anyone who can, uh, who's decent at crossing the ball. So it's it's really challenging at the moment for us to stock our club up. And in the deep defensive midfielder stop, we got we got only these players, and they're uh, the only player here who seems to the, 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 they seem to think that he does really well. But Solomon Sambu may be an option if I wanted to use a simple defensive midfielder or even a carry rail or so he could get a chance to play so up top we got rob howard rugero musendo and usually joe hanks but joe hanks joined the club and i think he's out for the next uh, almost two months so he's he's injured so his little contribution has come to an end <laughs> so he's, there's not there's not much of a difference here so then if you look at the comparison this is where things get really depressing uh, let's look at the mentals for the whole team. Okay, so let's start with the whole team then. Goalkeepers, let's not make it so bad, eh? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> defenders, mentals is horrific. Physicals for the defenders, horrific. We're the slowest. I mean, man, I feel like a, I feel like that we are we are an ox in water trying to turn quickly. Because a crocodile, a giant ass, big ass crocodile is coming. We are. Okay, there is no bloody way we'll escape. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like turning this big fat ship and trying to make it run. So what has happened in our results? Well, basically, we started off the season, Carlisle, a loss. Northampton, a loss. Swindon, surprise win though, away from home. This is a surprise win because I didn't, I was so dejected going into games. I mean, two defeats in a row. I mean, I don't, my ego is really big in this game. I don't believe I should lose, but then I do. And then here we go. 4 2 3 1. The moment I saw this, my eyes lit up. Christmas had come early. Thank you very much for giving me a chance. And we took it, gleefully accepted the present. Because anytime an AI plays this against you, if you use the 4 1 3 2, you'll win 90% of the time. 
even with shitty players, because you should be able to beat the system. Because you've got two strikers versus this. All you got to do is pull them out of shape, and that's easy to do. The two DM systems are very easy. I mean, I, in my opinion, two DM systems are relatively easy to be pulled out of shape if, in, if you're playing lower league football, because uh, the off the ball, the positioning is pretty average. So here we got Notts County, 3-3. Three, three. Morgan Penfold, guarding off us to a good start. You know, he had a double... I mean, I was so excited. He had a hat-trick in success consecutive games. I thought, yeah, we're here. We got a chance. He scores again in the 90th minute. And that's when I started going, oh, God, what's going to happen now? So now Morgan Penfold is kind of like dried up. His goals have dried up. Bradley Goldberg has stepped up. And this was a huge, huge match against Coventry. This is when I am dejected and I'm thinking, what can I do? So... In in this particular match, we did something very different. We have we we have a simple four one three two, but how we've set it up now is that we've gone standard and we've gone fluid and we're going for really fast tempo. I mean, we're looking at a quick tempo. No, I'm not talking about maximum tempo, but we played with a relatively good tempo and uh, we managed to hit them once through a move through the middle. They stay, I mean, our defense is still relatively weak, but two times we attacked them through the. Uh, through the top and they actually gave us penalties you know they just brought down Goldberg inside the box and both times we managed to finish inside uh, finished it off with penalty so on the whole 5 out of 8 shots on target I think you can knock out the 2 penalties then I think that counts as what 3 out of 8 mm, ok I guess uh, and then if I'm looking at the analysis and the team analysis here I'm looking at uh, combinations of Kingstonian Past combinations for Kingstonian will show a, a, a slight improvement, but here you see Joe Kovny, O'Neill, O'Dofin. Past combinations. My word, my central defender has the most pass combinations. The central defender playing it up to the the two central defenders are playing it out. And you can see that Joe Kovny, O'Neill, O'Dofin, my goalkeeper, Joe Kovny, Aaron Spice, Ruggiero Mosendo. So the most important player in my team in this one was Joe Kovny. He was linking everything up. It's unbelievable. But why did it happen like that? Uh, I had a rationale behind the way I was playing. Okay, so far, these matches, I've used a simple tactic. I've used my Kingstonian, like I would call it my counter-attacking setup, right? So for lower league sides. And we play control structured and we just hoof the ball into space, which is what we were doing to... Uh, we were doing really well. Um... But there I had this advantage because there's something that you we gotta remember. There's there's something like advantages. You know, you take like if your strikers are fast, you have an advantage. If your defenders are good, your midfield is strong, you have an advantage. Now, the problem with me is my strikers are not an advantage in this game. They haven't been an advantage for a while. So um I had to look for a an ad create an advantage and the only advantage I could think of was to keep the ball. <laughs> to make it harder for the AI to get the ball. So, uh, we, so we now start. What we did was in that game, we actually ended up playing our defense as well. So now we got a big game. So we're playing on standard fluid, well ball into box, play narrow, use offside, try pre one shot, goalkeeper distribution with the same lineup. We've got injuries to Michael Cox, who started the last match, and Joe Hanks, which is a pretty huge disappointment. Manolis Gogonas will come in for, I think, he will come in for Tom Derry. We are playing at home to Wickham and uh, basically last season when I played the game, um, I was adapting a lot. It was ended up doing, you know, I did, last week when I was playing the game, I ended up adapting a lot. I ended up having shows where you see me, uh, there's a five series, a series of shows where I'm adapting every single game. And uh, I want to avoid doing that. I don't want to adapt every single game. I, I want to try and use one formation with the players and try my best to, you know, make tweaks to it. Because sometimes in Lama football, that's the, the real the only choice that you have. I mean, there are so many systems I can use. I can use the super system. But <laughs> right now, uh, I don't have that much versatility in my side to go around and do all that. Because uh, my players... Uh, they're just average, you know. I, I, I don't have enough uh, bandwidth uh, when it comes to their attributes to go like, okay, I can definitely switch to another system. There could be times when we do that, but I'm going to avoid that for now. But in this match, I'm going to try something different. I 
I'm going to come out all guns blazing right from the start. And I'm hoping that I don't screw things up. That's all. So we are going to have some players with fewer risky passes. Uh, run white with ball. Not necessary for you. Okay. All right. We're all set. Yes. I'm going into this match. Psychotic. We're going to go overload structure. That's our kickoff. Overload structure. Let's see what happens. Davis to Spice. I mean, I, I do this early in the season. I experiment. I know. I find out what we can do, what we can't do. Um, I'm more than willing to try shit out. So here we are playing an overload 4-1-3-2 against, um, against Wickham. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you will laugh. I don't think this is a bloody fluke. Okay, we're gonna stay on overload. I'm not gonna change shit up. <laughs> I don't care. All right, Girdleston with the ball tries to cross. Hollis comes away with it. Looks for options. Hector Ingram. This is going to be a crazy match if I stay on overload. But we already scored our early goal. We are now going to control fluid. Uh, much higher defensive line. Yes. Okay. Compressed play. Where did you handle the ball, Kofni? What is wrong with you? Okay. We scored an early goal. This is called stealing results. But I don't think it's going to last because uh, Wickham are going to smash me for five goals or some shit like that. And Kovni does well. Gets back in time. Okay, Goldberg. It's Davis. Spice out to Goldberg. Goldberg holds the ball up. Finds Besson. Davis again. Back to Besson. To Howard. Howard to Spice to Goldberg. It's a sweet move that did not end in a goal. Penfold, what's wrong with you? We don't get those kind of chances every bloody day, Penfold. That was such a beautiful move. Yates, out to Odofin. Odofin, back to the keeper. To Kovni. Kovni, back to the keeper. This is good. I like this. Keep this up, boys. Our, idea, our goal here is to keep the ball as long as possible. Goldberg to Penfold. Penfold looks back, sees Davis. Spice to Goldberg. Goldberg is not the best. Oh, again, Penfold doesn't believe the ball has come off for him. Okay, uh, tactic. Ball to, 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 to. I still will play play out of defense, but now I'm going to add pass into space. Sounds crazy, but when we build play up, from the defenders, I'm expecting them to be a bit measured. Oh no, Hollis, Watts, we don't do the old, um, the, 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 the strategy that we always used. Gordon, oh, that was close. Yeah, I, I'm distracted. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just looking at the game going, I'm thinking about what to do next. Girlston, Howard, Howard, Girlston, Girlston, Goldberg, Goldberg shoots. Oh, the keeper makes a bloody save. We are definitely, all we are doing is defending, but my possession numbers are important. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying that. I just want to hit them. But, uh, yeah, I want to keep the ball effectively too. And do that, you know. Give them, force them to kick the ball long and hope that we can win the ball in midfield. But Watts gets by, gets it to Gordon. This is dangerous. Gordon has time and space. And Burridge buries it. Well, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Overload. Structured. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Let's go overload structured again. Besson reads that. Finds Goldberg. Goldberg. Ah, oh, Howard. Not paying attention, the young boy. Lovell to Watts to Hollis. To Hector, Hector to Burridge, Burridge, oh, they get the ball wide. And it's a second goal. Mm. Wickham have come back from one goal down to take the lead. Shear plays it out to Gordon. Again, this Howard is not reading the game properly. 
three one. Holy cow, we are being ripped. <laughs> All right, we'll bring it down to control, and then we'll not be so ridiculous anymore. Girlston to Sambu, Sambu back to Girlston, back to Howard. To Howard, to Davis, Gerlston again. Out he goes to Constantino. He's inside the box. Goldberg can't get there. Besson to Davis, to Howard, to Constantino. And it's us. We pull one back. Spice has scored. It's 3-2. This game ain't over yet. Okay. This is looking good. Constantino to Spice at the edge of the box. Corner, Davis inside the box. Sambu picks it up. Goldberg goes wide. What can he do? Plays it back to Kovni. Kovni holds it for Sambu. Sambu loses the ball. But this should be the defenders. Seven minutes left on the clock. Kieran Besson, he's done something that is quite smart. Uh, but there's nobody to pick up the second ball. Kieran Besson again. Oh, he's gone. He's found Constantino. Constantino. Odofin. Over the top. Constantino inside the box. The referee is going to call time. Any moment now. Spice. It's... Uh, yeah, shit. 3-2. Uh, damn it. We came close. That's all I can say. They became close. 3 2, a defeat to Wickham. I made a few mistakes in this game. I don't think that. Um, I don't think I should have been so eager to go overload. Wickham, after all, a good side. Well, we didn't do too badly. We've learned a lot from that game. Not to go overload again. <laughs> That's one. We went, we went down 3 1. Uh, would, that, would things have been different if I played on control fluid for the whole match? I know, I'm not sure. Because sometimes I do believe in going overload at the start of a match. I do that quite regularly. I go overload structure at the start of a match and see whether I can, I can get off to a great start. However, unfortunately for us, I shouldn't have stayed on overload structure after the end goal. I should have become... I, I should have changed things around, but I didn't. Well, the game itself... No, it's not too bad. I think we can do... We learned a lot from that game. This position and this position. These are the two positions I have to worry about now. Other than that, we did okay. I think there are signs that we will get better. Um, I just have to... We just have to hunker down and get on with the job. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. If you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. You make these kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.